आई एम नॉट ए वेब स्क्रेपर वाई शुड आई बॉदर टू लर्न स्क्रेपी गुड क्वेश्चन लेट्स आंसर दैट so scrapy is a web crawler that means that it can follow links so once you have visited those pages what you do with that information is all up to you you want to extract data from that fine you have created a web scraper but if you follow a link and the page does not exist so you can extract this information that this link does not exist anymore and you have created yourself a broken link checker so let's see how we can do that so here is a sample page i created this page some time back there are many broken links some of these throw 404 error like this some of the websites do not even exist so there are many broken link checker tools but either they don't work with the latest copy of the site or even if they do they have a limited support of let's say 500 or 1000 pages but the broken link checker that we are going to create it is going to work with 60 70000 pages so let's see how it works so first thing you start with a blank spider Now remember that crawl spider is not going to work because we need to do a lot of customization. The first challenge is Scrapy is going to ignore all the pages which return an error. So what we want to do is we want to set this handle HTTP status list, this attribute, and we want to enter all the status code. So what are the failure status code? So for example, four zero four is page not found, five zero three is internal server error. So all the errors are from 400 to 599 that range. So what I've done is I'm using a simple for loop. This attribute will contain a list of all the possible errors. Next step, because we are not going to use start URLs, we are going to use the start request. Now secondly, I don't want to capture just this URL. I also want to know where exactly is this coming from. So I want to capture two more pieces of information. the source page where this broken link was found and of course i won't be able to search this url on this page right because this link text is something else so if i get this information that i have to look for link 15 it will be much easier to fix those error right so right now from the first request i don't have this information scenarios like this where the domain name does not exist anymore so pages like this they will not even have an http response but they will have some dns lookup error so that's why i also need to have error back method right so similar to callback we also have an error back now let's see in the parse method the first thing that you need to notice is we have source and text so these are the same thing that we passed here in the cb keyword arguments so if you don't know how cb keyword argument works i'm going to leave a link in the description go and have a look at that video if response dot status is in one of this error list so if it is an error that means that okay we have found a page which is actually a broken link this link where was it found what was the text and what is the broken page link this is my source this is my link text so this 404 this is my error response dot status whether it is 404 503 and all that that is also something that is good to capture whether this link is external or internal i have written this custom function so let me show you what this function does so this function is actually just going to see that the net log which is the domain name of the link is it the same as the start page right so is it scrapebay.com is it the same thing or not and if this response is a broken link i don't want to do anything else get out of this but if it is not an error that means that probably i have visiting some other page on this website so maybe this page so in this case i want to examine all these links as well right first of all i need to check whether this is actually an html page because there are certain pdf files as well on this side so if it is an pdf file or if it is an image file there are no links on it right so i want to make sure that whatever i am doing is actually an html now i'm running a loop over all the links that i find and extracting the link text as well as the link url right so both these things i'm extracting and after that i'm simply checking whether this link is even valid or not and then i'll check whether this link is for this domain itself right so if this is for this domain itself in that case i simply want to call the parse method so i'll simply yield one more request and it will come back to the parse method if this is an external link in that case i am going to call a different parse method which i am calling parse external so what's the difference between parse internal and parse external the difference is that if i am reaching 
a page on the same website then i want to process further i want to extract all the links and i want to process it further but if it is an external page in that case i just want to check the first page and then stop whatever is the result i will yield that result but after that i don't want to follow further links on google.com that's an external domain right but i do want to follow the first link i do want to check the first domain and that's why we are not using the crawl spider that kind of controlled crawl spider will not give and let's also look at that handle error so what this handle error will do for pages like this where the website cannot be reached there will be no response so it will be an error so what i am doing here is i am simply capturing all that so unfortunately there is no way to pass the source page or the link text here talking about the external let's see what i'm doing here i am simply yielding a result and that's it no further processing i am leaving a link to the complete source code which will have little bit more functionality do let me know in the comments whether you want me to create one more video explaining every step of this if you want to learn how this cb keyword argument works then go and watch this video so that's all for this video i'll see you in the next one